And everybody is Sim Razor with Revere Asset Management just after 3.30 here on a Wednesday night. So quickly stock earn some Mark Rose. Before we begin, I don't want to bury the lead. Uh, there's two things that if they happen on Thursday, the market, I believe, goes higher. I need to show you uh, the candles in the QQQ and the SPY. Uh, so more so in the QQQ. I think that, I think that is a, that's a bullish candle, I believe, that formed there by the end of the day. And we'll take a look at that here in a moment. But before we begin our sojourn into the markets this evening, really quickly, um, with the new website, it's really easy to find the podcast. You just go to Tomorrow's Insights and click the button. And I'm showing you this because uh, I want you, here's Tomorrow's Insights. You all, let's see here, where did it go? Big show, Road to Riches. You know, this is by far the best podcast we've ever done and that's not hyperbole i i've done what show number is this 394 of these with danny and i will tell you that the discussion danny and don have uh is awesome and well worth your time and if you haven't seen it or heard it or listened to it uh, all you have to do is go to Tomorrow's Insights, and you can you can click, and you will find episode 394 that was published on April 2nd. We published on Friday for the current week that we're in right now. So hopefully, um, uh, if you have seen, it, I, I've gotten some good feedback on it, but if you haven't seen it, hopefully uh, you find that well worth your time. Then look, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, take umbrage with anything I'm saying, uh, all you can do, all you have to do is do a couple things here. You can hit contact button here and you can just send a general message or you can scroll through where our portfolios are what they look like and then get to the leadership here so you can see um our email addresses twitter handles and whatnot speaking of twitter if you want to be a texting buddy with me with me uh all you have to do is follow me. you don't have to follow me my dms are open so at tj razor uh you'll show up right here uh as a um uh, as a text message to me, as a direct message to me, and I can get right back to you right away. That's at TJ Razor. But, or you could just do it the old fashioned way email. And then, if you're on your mobile device uh, your, or a tablet, all you do is hit that little button and you will get hooked up directly to the uh, Danny Store in America's fiduciary right there. And so, with that, stock nerds and market lovers, these videos are there for what? Your edification purposes only. They're never ever to be misused as advice. One night, one advice, need advice, seek advice. Please, please, please give us a call. It's 855 Real Well. So, look, let me show you this. Uh, I want the QQQs here. There's a hammer candle right here, right? Um, I'd like it to be a little bit higher, but that's that's solid buying right here. Um, now, let's see if we can get a higher high, uh, a higher close tomorrow. Uh, and then I think you start working your way back up to. Uh, this level, we'll call it this zone right up in here, right below the 200. Like you, clearly a lot of work to clear this area, like a lot of sellers right here, right? And look, we all know the reasons. If you've been listening to me on the podcast and, and following the work, uh, you know my thoughts on inflation and rates and, and the Fed and Jay Powell and uh, where I think we're headed. I don't need to get into that tonight. Just dealing with the current market that we're looking at right now. So um, this is a, it might not seem like it today after being down 2% or closing down 2%. This is a victory here for bulls. Uh, bears could have really just crushed this into the close and they, they didn't do that. And so I find not falling apart very interesting. We'll look at SPY here and then we'll show you a couple individual stocks. Here's SPY and this is more of an indecision candle. This is not a hammer candle. See the difference? Like it's it's like a midway close. We'll just call that an indecision candle. Like, well, how does that help me, Tim? Well, it does a number of things, right? Like, so uh, just like the cues, though, what I believe is important is that you're holding the 21. You're holding the zone of the 21. Here's QQQ, and you're like, Tim, well, you were below the 21 just a little bit. Yeah, you close around the 34, but this is a zone, folks, right? And so <laughs> covering off the lows, getting that kind of uh, – that kind of a wick in right above the 50 day that to me is a victory for the bulls and then if you take we'll take a look at the other two indices in a minute but look at what the uh, vix futures did today right so they here's wednesday they come off tuesday's high they spike up and then they come down and so the vix futures aren't inverted 
like they got inverted uh, right before the uh, Russian invasion, the Friday before the Russian invasion, right after the Olympics. And they didn't uninvert for about a month. The market participants, I'm not saying this wasn't sharp, a sharp pullback, sharp sell-off, uh, but the market participants aren't inverting the VIX. The, these are normalized VIX readings for the three, for the current contract and the two follow-on contracts. And so I find that to be a bull uh, in the feather, a feather in the bull's cap, excuse me. So I get that analogy butchered up and wrong. So where, where, do, where, where do we see some leadership here? Is it out of the Dow? The Dow actually, now that, that is not indecision. That's clearly below the 21 here. It doesn't look like a bullish formation like of all the indices, right, the Qs, but the Qs have gotten really beat up here. And then IWM looks the worst out of the bunch right below the 50-day. So you mean to tell me that oh, high multiple slide, but these, you know, the Qs have all the target stocks, right? Like when I say target, the ones that are going to get cut, you know, dramatically uh, because of rate raises and everything the Fed's doing, the high multiple stocks to rein in inflation. Uh, but look, look at look at what's already been happening, right? PY, PL, and you know this, right? Like this has been destruction. I mean, from 310, I mean, this is this is pretty intense. Like they've had intense sell-offs already. And so Square, um, how about Netflix? Um, we can do we can do it now. Um, they, they, literally, they all, you know, some of the spout trying to think of some spacs. I don't. You know, um, how about the betting stocks, right? Just come off of March Madness, um, DKMG, look at DraftKings. It, the, these stocks have had tremendous, tremendous pullbacks. How about ADB, right? Like, let me not show you uh, the spec. Look at Adobe, ADB. There we go. I think I did it dyslexic. Uh, so, I mean, 700 to 450 or 400, 440. I mean, yeah, it's Adobe, right? Adobe isn't going out of business. And so what does that, what does that tell you? Well, the market one is tough, but I don't think if you go back, like, let's go back to SPY here real quick. What, what's taken place, uh, let's get rid of this, remove, and let's do this together here. So. Got my fib tool up. Let's see what this, so recent high, we'll go to the 224 low. And look, you just, you pull back in the zone of the 618. You haven't even made a half back retrace, you know, 50% retracement. This is not retracement, it's normal. And this, you know, after a brainer on Tuesday, the Fed minutes released today, and tomorrow you're going to get bullard. Um, I mean, tomorrow at 8 a.m., I think, you're going to get a uh, Bullard Central Time. So, and he's, what is he going to tell you, that they're going to raise 10% in May? No. I mean, so I think the news is out here. Uh, that's the spy. Let's look at the QQQ. So let's do the same drill here. You haven't, you haven't even had a halfback retrace. It's just been so sharp. And it just literally is, you know. <clears throat> but here, from this high to the recent low here, yeah, you're, you're not even at a half back retrace. And I've done studies, and I used to teach a class on this uh, in person uh, years ago, that most moves uh, will give back half the gains, and then uh, and then they go on. And so um, you haven't even gotten that. So now the battle begins. Where do you, you know, can you get a higher close tomorrow? And I, there's a part of me that thinks you can. And so let's take a look here at a couple other things. Here's the foot call ratio. Let's bring this chart center so put call ratio spikes right and so you at least you've got the 10, 10 days still too low for me but at least it's pointing up okay so now we've got uh higher readings here uh spikes to the highest reading since uh that feb right that february time frame right that feb 24 time frame so that's good okay so now we have we finally have some some put buying, some bears coming here because all this is telling you, right? That it's bull, 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 bull with all the call buying. But there's two things that need to let loose here. And I'll look at them right now with you. I promised them at the front of the video. So let's do this drill. Let's get uh, the Q, let's get the SPY. We'll just do the SPY. I'm gonna put the SPY in a five minute chart. I wanna show you something. So here is the SPY. And then we'll give you a list of stocks to look at. So 443, the market low. The market gaps down right here, here. Just let me orient you. 
to what you're looking at. Market gaps lower, and now it's just just it's trying to figure out what it wants to do before the release of the Fed minutes at one o'clock, thirteen hundred. Oh, is my marker done working? Oh, that is not good for the home team. We'll see if I can get it energized. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So at 1300. Now, it goes up initially, spikes, and then comes back down to only finish higher. That's a victory into itself. But now let me show you one of the things that needs to come lower in the coming sessions. Let's look at DXY, the dollar. The dollar needs to come lower. Now we're on a five minute chart. And let me show you this. I'm going to zoom in. So, wouldn't you know that here's 1300? The dollar peaks at 1315. The dollar peaks at 1315. And what did SPY do at 1315? What was SPY doing right at 1315? Hitting its low. So, they're inverse relationships. The dollar needs to come off. So, now I want to know where the dollar's at on a daily chart. And let's see here. Here is, uh, oh, excuse me, here is a DXY. There we go. Let's get DXY. So we are, we broke out of that range, but we probably are at a point of resistance. Are we at a point of resistance? Ah, two ATR. Could we go to three? Sure, sure we can. But you're right by the century mark. You're at the two ATR. If you just get a pullback even to plus one ATR or heck, the mean, you're going to see uh, stocks, in my estimation, move higher. That it probably coincides with what? The TNX coming down. And so mon here's Monday, right? Monday was an okay day for markets, right? Really good day for the meme stocks, really good day for Tesla. But what happened on Tuesday, right? Oh, ugly. But look at what TNX did, interest rates spiking, interest rates spiking. It's a daily chart, okay? So we are, we are, the, we are what they call extended. And you're like, well, Tim, can you give me a visual on that extension? Yeah, I sure can. Look at this. Here's that third ATR. So before markets were, st markets were tough, here's TNX. TNX comes back into the end of the month. Into the end of the month, look, some good days in the market, 329, 30, 31. Not not too bad here on 4.4, just, you know, hanging out, not so shabby, but then you get this extension, and then what happens, right? Markets have some really tough days. If these, if the rates pause going higher or come back, and the dollar pauses going higher or uh, just comes, or comes back, what I think you're going to see here is stocks rally into the end of the week. Now, I promised you a few names here, so let's take a look. How about PFE? Right, uh, Pfizer. Yeah, I mean, there's the high 61. Uh, this isn't so bad, right? You got a five coming through the eight, 21 right here. There's a 34, there's a 50. Are you working on a movie down stack, Pfizer? Maybe you are. Uh, interesting right there. How about uh, Intuit? Uh, what's Intuit there? Um, kind of capped by the 50 day, that red line. Uh, I don't think as good as uh, Pfizer CCJ. Let's take a gander here. Uh, off to 21, not such a bad chart. And there you go. Uh, let's take a look at, um, oh, this Hunter always talks about URA. URA, 21, now we're, this is a metal uranium. Uh, GLD, right? You're like, well, yeah, the inflation is so bad. Why isn't gold the new highs, man? Gold is gathering itself, so gold does. Uh, gold kind of looks like that URA, right? So uh, kind, of, kind of the same chart there. How about... Um, how about Apple here, APL? Yeah, just down to the 21 and holes. Hmm. And then uh, we'll look at Tesla here. Tesla couldn't even get to the 21, uh, but, but it did do what? It tested this gap, and I think that's important. It tested the gap and held. And so now that you've had that test of the gap, is Tesla gonna make its way back up towards uh, 1100, 1150? So with that, my fellow stock owners, market lovers, I hope all of this helps. Listen, we're always here for you. Just reach out. Uh, there's the email. There. There's the email addresses. Or better yet, the easiest thing to do, the easiest thing to do, and I swear to you, it's the, you're not going to be put in a sales cycle. The email is just call. Ask your questions and call. We'll never, ever 
ever spam you. We don't even sales people, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So with that, I hope you have a great night, and I will see you at the next update.